Hello everyone, welcome to Taylor's Tech Talks. I'm super excited that you guys are here today. We're going to be doing another tutorial Tuesday. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Taylor Arndt. I'm a freelance developer, professional, and accessibility consultant. I've been in the industry three years, helping clients like governments, nonprofits, small, medium, and large sized businesses to both get online for the first time and to become more inclusive and accessible for all. In today's tutorial, we're gonna build on the last tutorial that I showed you last week with Hover. And what we're gonna do today is we're going to actually install WordPress on our DreamHost account. Recall that last week, we connected our Hover domain to DreamHost with our name servers. This week, we're going to actually take that a step further and we're gonna install WordPress. I wanna show you what happens when your name servers are properly propagated because recall that name servers take a while to try to get across the internet, right? So I'm gonna to go to the website, wp4all.info. Toolbar, under, selection room, WP, PM selected, F-O-R, R unselected, A-L-L, L unselected. Dot, 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 I, N, O, select, foral, dot, info, selected, document, busy, plan, foral, dot, info, is almost here, bang, visited, link, admin panel, visited, link, dream host. And we have our little dream host admin panel that's saying, hey, it's almost here. And so this is what you should be getting when you are able to uh, use your dream host in the name servers. It should actually be right there for you. This is how you know that you have successfully done this and that you can move on to this next step. So if you see this little, hey, welcome to dream host, you know, blah, 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 it's coming soon, then you are all set. And actually, what I would recommend is the next step is to log into your DreamHost panel. And the way we do that is we can actually click that link as well. We can click the uh, admin panel. There's also like panel.dreamhost or whatever. I'm going to put the exact admin panel link in the description. But for this purpose, let's just click on that admin panel link since it gives it to us. Visit link at, visit link DreamHost. Visit link at, document busy plan. And I'm currently logged in, but if you're not, you will obviously have to log in. That's just uh, essential, right? You have to log into your site and your uh, dream host panel. I'm currently logged in. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where it says one click installs. This panel can be a little bit confusing, but the easiest way that I've found to use it is by using my NVDA search to find what I'm looking for. Actually, I'll just type in click. I'm going to click. press enter on one click installs. Domain, colon, one dash, click installs. Heading level one, clickable one dash, click installs. Heading level one. Heading level one, install a new application. And I'm going to find WordPress. Link my apps. Find dive plan, W O D. Heading level two, WordPress. Yep. All that I typed in was control enter F, and I just typed in Word because I didn't want to have to navigate through all this different uh, areas, right? I just wanted to try to find WordPress. So NVDA find is really, really helpful here. Learn more and install link. I'm going to learn more and install. So I press tab once until I heard learn more and install. Edit. Combo box collapse select the domain slash. I'm now going to press my E key. So my E key, recall, will navigate by edit fields. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my domain. Install the combo box collapse select the domain table. Select the domain 15 dash. HTTP colon slash slash info. Okay, this is HTTP. Obviously, we want to make sure that's secure. But for now, we'll select that domain. And I did that by using my combo boxes and pressing down arrow. WP4all.info is my domain. And so I'm going to press tab. Edit plan. This is an edit box. And this basically says, hey, what directory do you want WordPress in? You actually want to leave this blank. Because if you don't, it will say, for example, WP4all.info slash WP. Who wants that? I don't think I do. Maybe you do, but I don't. I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank like it is by default, and I'm going to press tab. Automatically create database row 2. Combo box automatically create database. Yep. Row two. And leave these options the same. I want to automatically create a database. So let's install checkbox check. Link 215,525,277 dash outline to line install line work dot dot dot. That is a little bit weird. Plan. Checkbox check install WP website builder. Okay. Link 360 billion for plan. Button install it for me now. Bang. Plan. So Link 360 checkbox check install WP website builder. I'm going to unclick check. this install website builder. Link 3 plan. Button install it for me now, bang. I'm gonna hit install for me. Dreamhost web panel creator domain colon one dash click installs. HTTPS right. colon slash slash panel dot dream clickable search edit. Let's see what we got. One here. dash click installs heading heading web WordPress will be installed too. Visit the link and receive an email from us with final instructions to configure your new software, bang. 
So it should take uh, 10 minutes or so. That's when they say that they will send me an email. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of wait until you get an email from DreamHost that says that your website has been configured. So again, it could take up to 10 minutes. So I will see you guys in 10 minutes. So it's been probably, I don't know, two or three minutes. Who knows? My time estimate is, you know, pretty, pretty uh, crazy. But I got an email from the DreamHost installer robot. And so this is what you should get when it's successfully installed. And so I'm going to go ahead and read this. I'm on my Mac now. Okay. Okay. So I will need to click that link to set my password for the first time. Okay. Basically what it does is it says, hey, you can log in to your website with this link and then obviously gives you a password reset link. So this is what happens when you uh, successfully install WordPress. We're not gonna do much more than that today. Let me show you how to log in and then we'll uh, end this tutorial. I set my password, which obviously I'm not gonna uh, show y'all, but basically what I did is I put in my email address and then I put in a password. And then now I'm at the WordPress dashboard and then you get just another WordPress site. I hope that gave you an idea of how to install WordPress on DreamHost. We're gonna be doing some more tutorials like this. And so please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. We do every Tuesday, Tutorial Tuesday, as well as Mondays, we do Taylor's Teardowns. So feel free to uh, subscribe. As well as you can support us by going to patreon.com slash Taylor's Tech Talks and you can become a member where you can get some awesome benefits, including our Discord, access to premium content, and more. So if you would like to do that, go ahead, patreon.com slash Taylor's Tech Talks. And with that, I think that is going to be good, and I hope y'all have a great day. I will see you soon.